Monkey Land has launched a buy a square meter of land for primates campaign to buy the property for its residents. The COVID-19 pandemic served as a warning that the future of these monkeys is uncertain. Sasa cares for 5,000 animals with a food bill of 600,000 rand a month. Without income from tourism during the lockdown, they approached their shareholders for assistance, but some were not willing to help. I must actually say thanks to COVID, we saw this major red flag. The monkeys don't own the land. We have to fix this because what happens if another pandemic happens 10 years from now? I might not be alive anymore. And I mean, I can't, I can only fight for them while I'm alive. So we decided let's fight for them to own their own land. And how can we legally do this? To ensure that future shareholders cannot develop the property for something else, the buy a square meter of land for primates campaign was launched. The public can now help acquire the 216,000 square meter property for the monkeys. The landowning company gave us a bond to tide us over till we raise the money, which we are busy doing now. We're doing it through social media um, and, and any way we can, and, and it's doing very well. People are buying square meters. It only costs 90 Rand to buy a square meter for the monkeys, and that's progressing at a rapid rate. So that's where we are now. It's the first ever land ownership deal for animals. If the campaign raises more than the required amount, the balance will go into an emergency fund to protect the animal's food bill until such time as tourism returns to normal. Tanya Krauser, SABC News, Monkey Land in Plettenberg Bay.